In this video, we'll look at ways to open a design in Hatch. I'm Lindy Goodall. The easiest way to open a design is via the Manage Designs Toolbox or the Design Library tab. Clicking either one will take you to the embroidery folder. Then you'll locate your design and double click it. And that's how easy it is to open a design. The design opens in its own tab and you can see the file name. If you hover over it, you can also see the file path. Let's go back and take a closer look at the design library so you can see how the library is organized. When Hatch is installed, it creates a couple of folders. One is called My Embroidery, the other one is Public Embroidery, and inside that folder, you'll have one called Hatch Embroidery, and it has a couple subfolders. So this is a file tree just like you would see in Windows, and what I want you to imagine this is that this is just a navigator tool so that you can find your designs. These designs aren't stored inside of Hatch. We could just see them from inside a Hatch. So we'll click on the Hatch Embroidery, I'm going to click on Designs, and we can see that we have more folders in here. As I click on the various folders, it narrows down my search. I can also open multiple designs. Let's say I'm working on a project that has tropical birds. Click on the first bird, hold down the control key, and click on the other birds that you want. And now we'll click on Open Selected. Each design opens in its own tab, and if we want to close one, let's say we decided we don't want that bird, I'll just click on the close box. The standard Windows methods for opening designs also exist, either from the toolbar with Open or from the File menu. Now another convenient thing is that we can open recent designs. And then we can see designs that I've opened recently and I can pick from that. You may want to use one of the standard Windows methods for opening design if the design exists on a CD or a stick. So opening designs is quick and easy, just a click or two. Actually, finding the designs can be a bit more involved, and Hatch has powerful tools for that. And we'll take a look in another video.